Hi everyone and welcome to my tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be putting you through how to cut a curved corset, the three-piece and the two-piece curved corset. So let's get right into it. Here I have the front and the back basic to sew foundation using the boss dart technique. And I'll be making use of my tape, the very curve, the pattern master to complete this pattern. Watch closely to understand what I'm doing. Right here, I'm measuring the length of the corset top. This is actually a gown but I want it to have an inbuilt corset. I measure 23 inches and that is what, we're, what I'm ruling across right there. So having ruled this line, I will go ahead and curve it by the side. I went up there by one inch from this line that I drew now and I'm using my curve rule to smooth it to the hemline. The next I'm going to do is to work on my under bust. You can measure this from the shoulder or you measure from your bust point. From the bust point, you can use three inches for a smaller bust or three and a half for a larger bust. I've measured the three inches and I'm going ahead to take three quarter inches there and then quarter inch the other way. I'll be connecting this to the dart leg, just as you can see me do. I'm connecting it to the dart on the waist line. Watch how I am connecting it. Beautiful. Then I'll go ahead and mark my over bust. Watch closely. I mark three inches from the bust point. Then I'm encroaching. I'm moving it upwards more to four inches so that the bust will not show. Three inches is a guide. Okay. I've marked at that center front there the depth of about six inches and I've taken in from there half inch. Okay. And I'm connecting this to the four inch mark I marked from the bust point. I hope you understand. From the side of the pattern there, I'll be coming in by one three quarter inches. This is a guide for drawing my bust curve. Okay. Now I'm also drawing another guide. What I took there is three and a half inches. Now I'll be connecting this using my curve. Make sure you use the deepest part of your curve to make this curve. Okay. I'm marking the one quarter right at that part of the armhole. Now I'm making my curve from this point to my under bust. Beautiful. Watch closely to understand what I'm doing. I'll go ahead and mark another guide of three, three inches. And I'll connect this to the half inch mark I made earlier on the center front. Watch how I'm connecting this. Be very, very attentive and watchful to understand every bit of what I'm doing. Beautiful. Fine. So guys, right now you can see what I'm doing. I'm drawing the curve of how I want my overburst to be. I'm connecting it as so. Watch closely. I first of all use my free hand to curve it the way I want. And I went to how I had to use the curve drill to smooth this line. Right here I'm dictating or marking where my mid shoulder is and I'm connecting this to the bust point. Having connected this to the bust point, I'm going to do my over bust tightening, which is half inch on both sides of this line on my over bust. I'll connect this to the bust point as shown. Okay. Beautiful. Watch closely and you understand everything I'm doing. I'm going ahead to connect my under bust curve. The best curve to use here is the armhole curve. Watch how I'm going to connect this to that under bust mark I did earlier. I've connected it right straight. You can still connect it immediately. You marked this point. Okay. There is no rule to doing this. Now I'll go ahead and connect this overboss tightening to the mid shoulder. Just as you can see me do here. Beautiful. Having connected this, watch what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to draw a straight line from the center front to the boss point as you see me do. And I'm going to mark three over eight inches on both sides of this line. This will give me three quarter inch. Okay. I marked three over eight inch on both sides and that will give me three quarter inch. And I've connected this to the bust point, just as you've seen. Now, these are the points that will be going out. That is the places that I'm marking right now. All those places will be going out at the end of this pattern making. Beautiful. The pattern is already forming. I'll go ahead to cut it out so that I'll be able to close up the lines and the darts that I want to close up. 
So this is how to cut it out. Fine. So having cut my pattern out, just as you can see, I will go ahead and further manipulate this pattern. Please be watchful to understand everything that I am doing here. I want to draw the little curve, the little space over the bust, just as you can see in the picture. You can still close up the dart there before doing this, but I just thought I could do this even when I've not closed the dart, okay? But if you find it easier to do this while the dart over the bust is closed, still do so. But be watchful how I did mine, okay? I first used my hand to do this. If you can't use your hand, you can still use your core rule to do this, okay? So I drew a fresh line there and I'm just cleaning the one that is unwanted. I'm using my curve right now to make a very smooth curve of this opening. This is the stylish opening you can see on the yoke of the dress, okay? Watch closely and you will understand every bit of what I'm doing. Now I'm going to connect from the shoulder line, having marked one one quarter inch, one one quarter inches from the neck point there. I'm connecting it to the center front neck, just as I did right now, okay? I'm just trying to clean up the unwanted lines on this stylish hole I created on the yoke. Okay, now watch closely. I'm going to cut out this pattern. Watch closely to see what I did. I have to extend that line. Sorry, I didn't extend it, but I'm going to extend it. This is how to extend it there. And then you cut out, okay? So here we have the yoke and also the body part, the, the body of the corset. I'm going ahead to smooth out the yoke. Watch what I'm doing. I'm going to close up this dart right now. And this is what my yoke looks like. I'll tape it down. As you can see, you can see the stylish hole is there on its own. Beautiful, lying well. To me, I feel it's just okay. The shape I created is just fine. And okay it's not big it's not too small it's just perfect just the way i want it so i'll cut this out as you can see me do beautiful so here the yoke is ready i'll set it aside and continue when you close up this over bust everything will match with the yoke so that is why this method is just perfect okay so right here i'm opening up the dots that you can see do it just as you can see me do in this video i'll be closing up the dart as the center front you can see what i'm doing and i'll tape it down you will notice that the underboss line that i drew earlier is no more matching so i'll go ahead and smoothen it you can go in with your curve and make it as smooth as you want it just do as you can see me do beautiful now the next thing to do here is to close up the side bust dart okay I'm opening it better so that it will easily close up and I'll be taping it down. Watch closely to understand. You can also see that the underbossed cut line there has also shifted. So I'll be blending that line. That is the right thing to do. After taping down, I'm blending the underbossed line. Beautiful. So I'm cleaning up the old one that is not rhyming. Right here, I'm trimming off the overbossed dart because it's no more needed. I hope you're watching the stages and how I'm taking it one at a time. Now I'll go ahead and cut this open. Watch closely to see what I am doing. Okay. I'm cutting out the underboss corset. I'm going ahead to mark this again where we'll be going out at the end of this pattern making. All the smart places will go out. A lot of them are already out, either being closed or trimmed off. Okay. So I'm going ahead to separate these two patterns. That's the front pattern. I'm dividing it into two by trimming of the that my bone is going to also sit in place here and other bone channels that I am going to create while sewing this cloth. Okay. I hope you can understand me perfectly. Now this is two cup styled corsets already. I will also show you how to do the three cup. Watch me separate this into two cups. So if we, what you want is the two cup. Well, once you trim off this dart, there is already in two parts. Okay, once you trim off that underbossed dart, yes, just as I have done now, 
this bust right now is in two parts so this is two part corset if this is what you want at this stage this on the bust this cupped cup is okay but if you want to do a three part corset you go ahead and tape it down the way i am doing i closed off the upper part after doing this i'm going to draw my three cupped corset watch closely to see what i'm doing right here i measured about two one quarter inches and also two one quarter there okay and i came to my center front and marked about two inches or one three quarter then go ahead and connect these lines so this is how to connect these lines and remember to notch and number your patterns very important the line i drew here there is what i'm going to use to notch the pattern on fabric i will show you when i reach that stage okay so i'll be cutting out this cup you can see this is number one and i'll be separating the lower part into two this is a very lovely tutorial but i won't be making the dress in this one but in the next one i'll be making the dress in the next tutorial because this one is already long okay so now this is the complete front pattern set the yoke the three cupped style and the lower part of the corset that will be at the bone the bonings okay beautiful so having done this we will move over to the back pattern all right now this is the three cupped styling this is the back pattern already drafted we'll be modifying this on this back pattern i will want to cinch the waist if you watch on the front pattern i just did it normally the waist and everything is just as that of the client but for this back anything i want to remove i will be removing from this back waist right now i'm marking the neckline i'm not really sure about the back neckline i want to use but i'm just marking out a block neckline i've not really decided but i eventually changed this neckline but for now i'm marking a block neck feel free to mark yours i came in along that shoulder line by one one quarter inches just like i did in front and from there i drew this block shaped neckline at the back which i will eventually change now i just want to remove like two inches from the waist of this pattern now how am i going to do this two inches from the waist and this is like back pattern on fold so i'm going to spread this two inches it means that one part of the back is going to be cinched by one inch and the other parts by one inch okay so when you cinch this one by one inch you have already cinched by two inches now i have marked half by the side waist there and i've gone ahead to draw a dart i'm going ahead to draw a dart of half inch watch closely to see what i'm doing i'm drawing the half inch dart i'll square it up i'll also come down that will complete the dart for the back the essence of this is to cinch the waist just the waist by two inches okay now i'm also taking away the half inch i marked at the side see how i'm connecting it this is how you're going to do yours exactly okay note that i've not marked the length of the corset for this back now all these darts will be going out by the time i'm done with this now i'm going to connect that place to the armhole watch closely to understand perfectly what i'm doing okay watch how i'm connecting it with my master pattern beautiful this is my dart that i'm extending to this new drawn line fine so having done this i'm going to go ahead and uh, i'm thinking of reshaping this neckline really i'm thinking of reshaping it to give it another beautiful cup but i have marked the upper part now i'm cleaning just watch to see the style i eventually give this neckline now i'm thinking of how much space i want at the back like i will create a keyhole a sort of stylish opening at the back as shown i eventually decided to make the opening small all right so that is what i'm marking right now so the whole upper of this the whole upper of this is the back yoke right i'm trying to clean out any line that i do not need you will understand the neckline i chose for the yoke by the time i'm trimming this out now i'm marking one and a half inches all through from this point down i'm marking one and a half inches i'll be trimming it off but not now now this one and a half inches i marked will give a total of three inches space at that middle at that middle back this is where my lacing or my eyelet will be arranged okay so this is where my eyelet and lacing will be that is what we have for now 
Now I'll go ahead and mark the top length. You know that for front it was 23. For this back it's going to be 21 one quarter because the difference between the front and the back half length is one three quarter inches. Okay, so that is also what the difference in their length is going to be. If you want to know more about how to make this Toso foundation, I will link it in the description box. Now you can see I've gone up by one inch and also shaped it just as I did for the front. I'm going ahead to cut out the back yoke. Now see the styling I give that back yoke? Very beautiful. Can you see that? So I notched, I marked something there that will be serving as my notch. All these places I'm marking will go out eventually. Now I'm trimming off the that I took by the side and I'm trying to cut out the back. Okay. I'm not going to cut this back completely till I make my modesty panel. So that is the next thing I'm going to do now. I like doing everything on pattern before I conclude and start cutting on fabric. All right. So right now, I'm going to remove all those darts, the unwanted darts. I've marked the lines that will serve as my notch so that I won't be confused of the parts to match up to the other. Okay? So now I've trimmed out the darts from there. I'm trimming it out. Okay? Beautiful. I'm going to number this. You can number it one, two, three so that you won't get confused at least with your notches. So I'll be keeping these two aside and I'll be using this middle one to do my modesty panel all right now watch what i'm going to do i've placed this paper on fold and i'm going ahead to cut the modesty panel on fold i'll be placing that center yes the center back on fold and then i'll cut as you can see me do all right this modesty panel will be sewn to the lining see how i trimmed it it's actually shorter than what we have and that is perfectly how i want it i may even eventually make it even shorter than this when you open it up this is how wide it's going to be and it's going to cover the back perfectly i've gone ahead to trim off the excess i marked the one and a half inches i marked that is going to give us three inches opening at the back i've gone ahead to trim it off and this is our complete back pattern okay in my next tutorial i'll be showing you the cutting and the stitching process of this so that you will see how it is done and how it is laced and every bit of how to couple this thanks for watching guys bye